Yesterday was a great day, even though they got himself a win. So hopefully they can replicate that, get himself another win here on one more Miramar game. All right, it's back to the desert for one more time for this weekly final, and then it's Erangel all the way after. Match number seven of our weekly final, week one. Let's head over to Pansy and Hypok for all of the Sandy action. We'll do our very best for you, James. And we're starting out in the northeast and heading all the way across the west. And a little tougher for the teams that want to go far south, but they'll have to make do. Hypok, we've had game one. This is the last look at Miramar, at least for the weekend for me. Um, what do we what do we want to see coming into this? It's the final chance to get those points in on this map. Uh, I mean, for me, it's uh, it's going to be difficult, really. Uh, yes, you can come into this looking at it as the last Miramar game, and some people that maybe I don't want to say have an over reliance or, or maybe some a little more confidence in in their drop spot or or how they're able to read Miramar. But this is definitely going to be interesting to see. Uh, I mean, mainly where the circle is. With this plane now, uh, for me, it's leaning possibly towards a northern circle, um, mm -hmm. which generally is a much slower rate of play, right? Um, again, not really a typical circle in terms of where people tend to drop. But I mean, for me, the, the, you got to go out and you got to find something here. You got to find something that's going to give you a confidence boost leading into a wrangle, whether or not it's a high kill game, not necessarily a high placement game. But um, mm -hmm. I, for me, go towards some of the northern teams. That, uh, it's some of the default northern teams so i'm looking towards navi and um, again genji have their audible drop up here and actually i'm actually looking towards stk now obviously they haven't got their hacienda drop for you i've got that but their audible drop slightly off to the northwest is looking like a pretty good spread right now yeah most teams will be somewhat happy with this i mean as you said it's it's a pretty northern circle so you're gonna have uh plenty of access to it as well there's no water involved like, unless you maybe include oasis but i think that'll be just fine and you're right this does play to the teams that traditionally come up here a little bit more i can imagine and i think gen g will be pretty happy shoot to kill very pleased with this of course just off to the west of water treatment and gen g themselves just further north and again this is going to be probably a i don't say a slowed out circle but i feel as though most of the teams on the south cusp of things will have plenty of points of access there shouldn't be too many problems to find a way forward here it's just as i said this circle has plenty of common endings i i feel we we've had a we we had the water treatment time that was just consistently over there but i, I feel those days are past us but you never know there's plenty of areas that we have to keep our eyes towards that we know can potentially house it but let's let's have a look at the the standings as it is i mean Liquid towards the top here, I mean, they, they've been playing fantastically, but outside of that, Freak of Freaks, still always relevant. VP, huge swing up to get to third. Gen G, infantry face. I've got to say it, Europe's actually woken up a bit here. Na'Vi, still looking off the game, if I'm honest, which is quite unfortunate, but a good circle for them to maybe find a little bit of that form. That could be a good look for them, just to, just to you know get that confidence under the belt as well. But... Beyond that, though, you know, TSM, we saw Wookie Bookie having a great day just yesterday and the rest of the squad pretty much on point too. But I've got to say, face not too bad, not a terrible look, but Liquid and Virtus Pro. Now that keeps me pretty happy. It does, yeah. And I mean, the desk make a good point, right? Anything really down to, I mean, 4 a.m. at 30 point. And again, if you're going to draw the line of 30 points, why not down to 26 as well? One win and a big kill win at that brings it right back in it. So yeah. we've got what? 12 teams really that are just within touching distance um, and i mean the way these games are going yes we had a freak of freaks getting back to backs and yeah you mentioned liquid mm -hmm. as well kind of having some consistency in terms of placements and, and high kills but it's all still to play for i mean my eyes go towards teams like obviously phase obviously one game one and they're sat with 35 points again one more it brings them right back in it um yeah. so i mean again it comes back to that discussion right if you want to make a push for things on miramar now's the time to do it um again just coming back to the drop spots with that plane being up this high you make a really good point about you know some of these teams that are maybe they have that element of familiarity i guess with with the terrain up on the north and how they like to rotate some of these other teams that typically drop quite far south and eyes go towards you know oath that come down to the woods leonis it's going to be difficult for them to transition here there's so there's so many variables now created by you know three or four teams not being able to get to their drop spot um tsm already on the move before i'm actually i don't want to say lagging behind a little bit but coming up to the five minute mark and they're still around hacienda so tsm got to be careful here of how they're split up 
Yeah, I mean, TSM know Hacienda pretty well themselves in all the San Martin area, so if they see vulnerability, if they find a way to potentially crack into that, I, I'm sure out of any team, they'll be the ones to, to find that avenue of approach. Now, as you said, though, 4AM still looting away, a little split, but Hacienda... I mean, it's it's a good drop spot, but you're right, it can be a little tricksy, and, and Forever is isolated. Now, whether or not he sticks around is what we're going to have to wait and see. It looks as though he is deciding to back away towards the rest of the gang, get some support, maybe find a bit of cover, and just kind of have to give away that additional compound for now. Excluding this, we are seeing Triumphant getting relatively close towards a Freak of Freaks, and yeah, a Freak of Freaks are the ones kind of pulling into this, and a trade out to start with, and EJ got flushed off this. It is a one-for-one -one kind of go-through. Both teams now losing out on a player, and this is very early to be losing out on players, pulling up to this, and they are very far, not necessarily far, but they are on the edge of the eastern side. They are the one of the further eastern teams as it stands. Uh, I'm pretty sure Liquid, Oath, and, and Co. will be kind of going past this, and maybe a little curious as to why they've kind of committed so much for this. Yeah, it, it's a lot to pin on a circle one pull up like this. And yeah, the one for one trade, I mean, it's a loss on both sides in my eyes. It's not really a compound worth, you know, losing a player at this point. Um, but no, I'm with you. Triumphant actually pulling up to reinforce this. So they, whether or not they want to try and fight this out, well, they were just kind of preemptively trying to stop this push coming through from Africa Freaks. But you're right. I mean, now with 4AM positioned on the other side, you can see it in the background there. They're going to get all this information and they can keep track on the numbers. Could be them that is able to capitalize off this come next circle pop. I never know what to expect see from 4AM. Already. Yeah, they're, they're such a, they're a very volatile team. They're a very powerful team individually. Stylistically, I don't know what to make of them. I, I feel like I've got a better grip on most of the teams in the lobby, but their playstyle is just... I don't know. It, it's extreme highs and then a fizzle to nothing, I feel, sometimes. I mean, we, we had you know, one of the players, God V, literally destroying an entire team by himself. You know, you know what I mean? Like They yeah. are incredible individual players. It's just... I, I, it's, they've lost it's a little the bit of that shine element. for me. Yeah, it's the macro element for me that, that that's definitely a concern. And again, you know, they set up yesterday in Yasnaya's game where they're able to kind of command all that territory and all that space, and it didn't equate to anything. And that was after two or three favorable circle pops for them as well. So that's what's missing. I mean, throw them in the fray. Yeah, I, um, I love seeing them scrap it out. They look really good in in those kind of offbeat team fights, but it, it's the other half of it. I, I feel that's been lacking. Okay, we are having FaZe Clan keeping their eyes on AAA, but maybe they need to be a little bit more aware as to who's kind of rolled up in the meantime. You have Sonic's now taking the compound over, or at least two of Sonic's. It looks like three now joining as another player's come through. So FaZe kind of left in a bit of a spot of bother. I don't like that for FaZe. We've seen those rotations being a problem for them in the past. Um, we've been hurt before FaZe, and, you know, we're scared now. Uh, we don't trust as easily. But Liquid, pretty centralized. This is the, I guess, prime claim for those water treatment-esque circles where Liquid currently resides. So maybe happy with that for themselves. Outside of it, who's on the outskirts? Let's see, is everyone into the circle? My eyes look for Na'Vi, basically. Where are Na'Vi? <laughs> they'll be working their <laughs> way for in. The yellow they'll, they'll be coming in. Yeah, I was like, okay, I've got to have a little look around. Yeah, they're, they're working in on the quiet western side. They might have a little... Um, exchange with Fury if they go further south, but they should be okay for now. It should be everyone coming in. And again, the circle has plenty of routes in, plenty of avenues of approach. There shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, this is actually a big move for Liquid here. Again, they've got, they occupy the magnet compound up to the north of this, all kind of overlooking the entrance of water treatment. And SDK actually mm. pulled away. I think they moved, you can see on Civil, and I guess Kurt over on the mini map off to the west. Now, this 2 2 split, I mean, how many times have we seen the circle just favor this area? This 2 2 split yeah. is deadly. The liquid can occupy here. And the good thing about both these compounds is you can sort of defend a crash on either side, right? So both yeah. both compounds complement each other nicely. Actually, I'm still we'll putting a little bit of Ooh, pressure on the Ibby. Free vest. It's fine. He's, he's upgrade. Enough. That's <laughs> a level three upgrade there. Yeah. Must be nice. But uh, you're right. Shoot to kill. I'm going to be aware of this, and, and if they did peel away from that little surprise, maybe they have a different consideration to keep in mind here. But yeah, Liquid currently, I feel, hold a 
incredibly good compound. Depending on this next circle update, we've got, what, about five seconds until it shifts. We'll see if there is any kind of wildness to this, any hard shifts. Um, again, most teams kind of playing standard. Okay, pretty far east, actually. That's that's changed things now. So, what's <coughs> treatments in, but mostly the south portion. It's Hacienda in the middle here. And San Martin, this is, this is actually quite a sketchy circle for some of these teams. It is indeed. I mean, Africa Freaks' pull up now isn't looking so stupid, uh, to be no. quite honest with you, because Triumph pulled away from that. Um, Sonic's on the move. They're going to head straight back towards San Martin. Again, an early move here, so maybe you're going to try and get ahead of the crowd, but VP actually rotating parallel to them. You can see K7 off in the distance as well. It's actually, they could all congregate on this crossroads here. Looks like Virtus Pro will be trailing the others. Let's see how far they take this. It looks like Sonics were heading straight through town, so they could take that slightly not disconnected compound, but there's this like small area somewhat in between. No, they're not. Uh, that would be that'd be pretty bold at this point. That'd be a blind yeah. send as well. You can't fully scout Hacienda as much as they'd like. It's a big area. You could you could have an, an idea. And if you're four AM, do you sit in this two two or do you fall in towards Hacienda itself? Or I mean, it's valuable. They they've got a nice north south yes. control, but super crashy. Well, that that's the thing. We were just talking about the strength of Liquid Split, right? The the, the split the four AM has. They they can't kind of help out both sides of it. Um, there's not great sight lines to stop a crash on either one. And again, you know, at the same time, I, I put 4 a.m. in those scrappy positions and, you know, I, I know where I'm putting my money, but True. that's that's a wide split to try and maintain, especially now with, with a weird circle pop. You know there's going to be some teams that are just going to say, yep, yeah, we're screwed on that circle. We've got to send it as four. Let's find something inside. And that's when you're, you know, if you're spread too thin and it's only two people, maybe one person holding down a compound, you can get overwhelmed. The moment eyes towards phase checked in on navi i think they're just behind phase they're in the blue yeah. opting for a more pacifist approach i guess you know uh don't want to cause any harm furia slightly further ahead you can just see one of the players on his kill demo just leaving the minimap there so furia kind of being the guinea pigs of this route for now we'll see how it fares for them see how far they take this too but it's probably in the south as well uh, again i think it's just triple a that are towards the north but because you guys are being so nice and you know what sort of day it is you know very giving very caring for people you love have have a little promo code treat yourself you know we love you too you know you wanna... yep Type fred passed this one on himself it's x3 v5 xl 4s h7 8k i'm sure it's already gone you guys are probably already alt tapped somebody's redeemed <laughs> it so somewhere quick. They're so quick, man. So quick. I, I glance over the chat, and it's by the time I've stopped reading it, 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 it people are yeah. like, yeah, expired. Thanks. Yeah. Look, the code goblins appear, you know? That's it. They just, that's that's their one job in life. That's all they do. Easy one. Oh, there, we go. there we go. Good job, guys. Well done. <laughs> and it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it, it, it do be like that. But um, we're looking for that circle update. Again, 16 teams, 62 players. It, when we don't have the fun circles, the lobbies tend to go like this. The first kind of 15, potentially up to 20 minutes. It's not very quiet. It's it's safe in the fact that there's a lot of a lot more playable area. There's not half yeah. the cut off by the water or unplayable terrain. It's, it's a lot more viability unless someone makes mistakes, which can happen. People can do those blind sends and go a little... A little too crazy. We're learning to have to keep our eyes on Murders Pro here because they're right next to infantry who are not a quiet Ooh. team. Spyro with a quick turn. Get out of there. Yeah, they were fancying going further, but decided against it. Yeah, the timing rather unfortunate there. Actually, in our rotation. It's actually Longsco going to get picked off by Savior at distance. Actually, the Where's tag's coming from? through. He might even get confirmed. Ooh, that's close. Yeah, he's just about been saved, I think, by a smoke for now. Whether or not they can cross and get the res, it looks as though that's the case. It looks like they've just about made it there. Longsco should be picked. Oh, has he seen enough? He's, he's considering that he's trying to get the res outside. He's spamming away at it. None of the bullets came through, but that got close as anything. And now the circle has centered up a bit here. You know, Hacienda is a little further towards the southwest of it now, the central point. Imagine if Freaka Freaks are in the slab bang middle. They had a fantastic read early on by sheer luck, good consideration, good knowledge of circles. Who knows? But what I can tell you is they are in prime spot now. 
Yeah, they are. I mean, my eyes go back towards uh, 4 a.m., who I've just seen pop up in the kill feed. And my concern is is whether or not they've held onto that split for a little too long, a little overzealous with the control there. Actually, looks like they've tried to reinforce back over to the northern side of the split. STK got this knock. You see, actually, they're, they're trying to move Nate's on this. Out. They're trying to progress forwards, yeah. 4 a.m. already have their nades down. They they expect a bit of a push coming in here. Nades come through. Luke 12 has managed to pull up and for forever. Oh, wh what? He didn't get the shots he needed on Civil. Somehow gets the job done first. And I'll lose a little bit baffled. And actually, this is not going well for 4 a.m. Yes, the nades found its target, but they're losing players by the dozen. Now down to two for shoot to kill, but the flush is coming through. Cuts just right there, but the answer comes right back in. There is no love lost between these two. Again, it's a, it's a bloody fight. SDK will lose two in the freight. And actually, Tickleton going to get a knock onto Alo from range as well. So, again, all that information is still going to be fresh. And TSM pulling up on this on the backside. Everybody seems to want a piece of this compound right now. <laughs> I mean, if you, if you see a vulnerability, if they've seen this fight go down and they understand what's going on, why not? Maybe able to count it out and see how many still are trying to hold on to this. And Kurt's going to have to do his best to try and just stay alive at this point. Liquid even maybe considering it. This is a dangerous spot, though. Pack Caps going to tap away. Balefrost going to dive in. <gasps> Jayers? <gasps> oh, my Lord. The hillside above. Jayers just rears over the ridge. Has a little look down. Spots a freebie on Bale and now just bails out himself. So no worries there. Eastern shift. Oh. Again, a freak of freaks are laughing. Yeah, actually, that actually cuts out four or five teams over on the southwest corner. Kurt now finds himself outside the circle versus the four man of TSM that pulled up in front of him. Again, just going to have to play his life out there, lose somewhere, getting a double knock with those nades onto Furia and the confirms. Look at this on the outside and Liquid on the move also. They're actually going to pull up. They're going to get this hillside for this free, seemingly. Bad. Yeah, this uh, is a really good shout. I'm worried about AAA, though. Look at the minimap. If AAA oh, have I mean, got information on that pull-up. Where else could anyone go? I'm looking at what does Sonics do? What does Gen G do? What does Na'Vi do? What does Oath do? This is where it gets sketchy for all the other teams. Na'Vi in a fight on the edge. Now K7 going to take the fight to them, but 5 HP no is way. all Zanan has, and he tries the best he can. Took down Tab, but... Orange a little too strong, a little too well established at this point. Phase diving in as well, lobbing down nades. No European friendship at this point there's no time for that they need points and they need it now they need safety on the next circle too this is in the southeast side so k7 phase still having a scrap on this but keep in mind infantry and triumph still hold the main entryway on this portion where is the rest of phase that's only two of them oh the rest are way yeah. up in the north okay they were, i was like wait are they down two? i didn't see them die genji genji um they're crashing they're actually crashing this long skirt. is baffled and so am I. Unbelievable. Mine found in Nonic, so Gen G's wild push has suddenly been culled a little too quickly. Pio and Esther are here, though. And Pio's got the angle. Oh, my word. He's about to spray it down. He does break down the door, but on the window. Good adjustment from Bolian, one of the top fraggers that we've seen so far. The man is wild when it comes to it. He's got big boy aim coming out, but Gen G, I can't believe that sort of push. Yeah, desperation sent in there. Pretty much everything occupied in this circle. Zhao Yang actually going to get a little bit of company. <laughs> Esther just decides to run in, hip fire in the AK, and he will pick that one up. So we'll get a consolation kill at least. I imagine they reset and got that other res. Yeah, you can see Boliang and Nine back on their feet over in the other two story. But <laughs> yeah, just sheer desperation. It's like, okay, well, we've got nowhere to go. Pick a compound, let's hit it. Esther in these rooftops. A lot of he games he's been on that roof. Yeah, he does. He's yeah, assassin, Assassin's Creed. He's just having a good time. Spit trying to have a good time himself, but Fuzzface now has to back away, find a new angle. He loses the fight. Spit wins that. Now, where is the support on this one? Fuzzface was on the other side of the road. 8C has been trying to keep Liquid a little bit more humble, but AAA just folded towards them. Now, I do want to see the success rate of HC on here. Now looking a little bit more isolated. You see Gustav and Uber trying to help out, but HC has found Jeems. So a big pickup considering the circle has just moved to the northeast side. And look, actually, Uber and Gustav are both shooting towards Liquid as well. So HC relaying that information after the knock comes through. I mean, if Uber and Gustav have a vehicle, they can potentially get back up because this circle is pretty favorable for HC's position. Unfortunate Fudd's face has fallen. 
Esther still doing rooftop things. Nine and Boliang just desperate to try and flush him out. Oh, no. He's going to have heard that. He heard the pin get pulled. He dropped the nade on top of him. It could be his teammate if he comes past. Oh, Boliang's okay. Okay, he's did okay. about half damage, yeah. It's still 13 teams. This is a very lively lobby. And Sonic's looking like they want to try and get involved here. Try and maybe unseat Afrika Freaks from this comfortable position they've maintained with Melee 3 for quite some time. We saw them commit to this very early on. Lost a player for it, but you can see what has garnered them. And now they set up their defense to try and deal with Sonic's moving into this mime. Shrimsy, H-Win, all taking the position, trying to work forward, utilize that smoke on the cross. But Afrika Freaks still have their attention turned elsewhere. You can see them trying to look out towards these fields and might have to be a little bit more careful as to what's in front of them this time. Again, do have the numbers advantage, but they are the ones that have to push towards Africa Freaks if they want to clear them out. H1 just going to pre nade off that window, but I'll only get met by some yes, damage man. from Hans. Yeah, hello. What? They're pulling up on road. Reload here. Wookie down to one HP here on the other side. Of the no, they're both inside <gasps> the same smoke. Ah, Wookie was so low, though. His HP just soaked enough of the damage there, and FaZe are taking chunks out of liquid. And now TSM's pull-up has gone pretty poorly. Triple A, Oath, it doesn't really matter. They have not really found any sort of home to reside in. Liquid still trying to hold on to this position. You can see them in a little bit of a poor spot here. FaZe have been just single target focusing them. Rillo does get the flush towards Wookie Bookie. And again, we're still waiting for the resolution of the Sonics push. It looks like Furia have found their end. And again, in waiting to see the desperation plays come out from some of these teams because there simply isn't... And that, speaking of desperation, yep. hello, K7. We're all in the vehicle. And it's smoking already. Doesn't look... They're still alive. Great. I'm amazed. Okay, there you go. Did, did you order, like... A free bit of feeding there. Here we go. K7. Just Locks Lock, I think, alive at this point. The rest got culled on the way. Trying to get off a quick heal, I'm sure. And while this happens, would be the perfect time Sonics, for Sonics yeah. to push up and clear. They need to go now. They need to capitalize on what's happening. This is going to be madness. Shrimsy does find Hansia. This looks like a Freaker Freaks are down and out. Yeah, down in 11th. They held this compound for so long. They tried to keep control, but it's too prime of a target. And Tiggleton's nade is just perfect. K7 gone, big compound gained, but the circle just trickles away from them again. Yeah, not an awful lot to play. I mean, they could play the south side of that hill, but it looks like they're actually going to try and clear out Oath here. Snake is going to lose his life over at the hay bales and pack caps. Last man standing for Oath. I'm not sure Sonic's actually noted a second player over there. I mean, they should have some more sort of idea because obviously they got the knock. Onto Snakers. Clip. Meanwhile, actually going to get a long distance spray down with the barrel onto Spit here. Jay is trying to respond onto it. And actually, Clip's the last man standing for Liquid. I'm not sure when that happened again. Was it FaZe just giving the Faze. time and space to pick them apart? Yeah. No one having eyes on FaZe let them get away with absolute murder on towards Liquid. And now into the lobby. Let's have a look who's left. We've got Triumph still sitting quite comfortably here. They're in a good enough position, it looks like, with three alive, if I'm not mistaken, unless I'm missing one. Sonics, this could be a big game for them. Four standing, seven kills, but Virtus Pro, now I think they're down to three. Let me just have a little quick look. Yes, three standing, but decent positioning. Could get over one by Triumph if they push that way. Sonics, I want to see those next steps because this is where it gets tough for them. They might have to go into frag out mode because there's no cover here for them. Yeah, they're trying to smoke their way all the way towards Pat Caps' hay bales. Tiggleton, I guess, just trying to maximize the value out of this rooftop position while he can until it's out of the circle. Well, yeah. Shrimsy will actually find a knock on to Miracle here. They're trying to make a similar move towards Pat Caps. Everyone just wants this to be is around Pat Caps, so man. Yeah, I mean, Sonics are forging a path. It's a really treacherous one. You can see them utilizing that smoke. So many committed already. This is going to be a step by step a scenario. Triple A have already got their hands filled with TSM. Nade comes out. It does a bit of damage. Yeah, it's kept them away for now. Two big tags come in, and that's going to keep at least a bit of a slower roll on this. But fire from the back lines, Triple A. Again, making it hard work for Pack Caps. Nades, Molly's being thrown back in. None so far have found Pack Caps, so he's going to stay 
as pinned to the ground as he can. But Sonics, there's a time limit on this. Those smokes are about to dissipate. They can be left in the open with They're maybe a couple of rocks here and there. But Virtus Pro are in trouble. They're now getting engaged upon. We said the Triumph might push out of the compound, and they are. Here is us putting up good numbers towards Volibear. Pack Caps finds H win. And here we go. There's the nade from Peng. And it's going to be VP down now towards the top five. Sonics. They, I don't know if they can do much about that player being knocked. Hwin might have to accept his fate here because they're under so much threat. They can't get rid of Pack Caps. They're struggling so bad on this. Yeah, Pack Caps is prone with this org. He's able to lay so much damage onto Sonics. They can't really respond to. They can't spot him. You see, look just, at the bush just blocking the vision for Mime. They will there finally get found out there. Tiggleton going to put his fifth kill up Great and down work. to the top four now. Great, great work. And now, Sonics, this is where I want to see them take strides. They fought the hard fight. This is it, right? They got to that ledge. They put down that smoke wall. Now, keep in mind as well, though, that was a mad amount of utility committed. They did not have... They, they do not have many smokes left, I'm sure. So if this circle gets really, really problematic... They could be in a spot of bother. But eyes towards AAA. They have to make their move. We've got two fights, essentially. Triumph against FaZe and Sonics against AAA. They're the two to define the last probably two teams in this. Now, FaZe have three standing. Sonics have four. AAA three and Triumph with two. So, take what you will from oh. that. H win. What? That was oh a disgusting my. knock. How? How are they getting away with this? AAA probably left scratchy the... See ya. The creep up from Sia. Has he been noted yet? AT, wide swing. <gasps> AT just gives him the backhand. You don't get to mess with AT today, apparently. So that's going to be a problem for Triumph. That was their whole set play. Try and get him in on that low ground. But back towards Sonics. They now know, okay, well, we've got TSG here. FaZe here. Triple A here. They know where everybody is in this lobby. Yeah, actually, they're able to reset and get that res down at the hay bales. Now, that is problematic for Sonics. They, they need some space to try and deal with one of these teams. And right now, I mean, AAA can stay at the hay bales as long as they need to because it's inside the circle. FaZe yeah. and the last member of TSG, meanwhile, do have to make moves. And I mean, if Peng dies, actually, that's going to give an opening for FaZe to kind of sweep south along that ridge. Oh, he's found Trim. Yeah, that's not good. No, and, and you're right. It's it's that the wider positioning but peng can't survive in the blue once this starts hitting it, it hits hard he's found gustav he's putting up a great last stand but hp's too low he's gone down now phase looking to probably get that res in as fast as they can just in case sonics had crept up but i don't think there's gonna be time for it by the time they get to the top i don't think they could do much so sonics at least has the south portion here triple a has very little cover to work with but i guess something and they're still in uh h wins position if he can land more shots like he just did, I mean, they are not going to be peeking too happily. But look at the state of his gear. Vest broken. Helmet red. He is not sitting brilliantly. And utility? I didn't see oh. Nate. I didn't see Smokes. They are in a very precarious spot. And I'm not seeing Shrimsy or Tiggleton trying to heal up here unless they are somewhat out of boosts as well or stims. I don't know. FaZe are going to be forced to fight on this circle, though. This is going to be a big battle. I know FaZe have been in battles constantly. Liquid's been their detriment. A little more utility, but gear just as broken. And these two veterans of war by this point now. Nades coming up. Flash is going out. It's all they've got to play with for now. Yeah, FaZe actually stacked up. I'm glad to see Sonic send another member over to this eastern side of the hill here. But FaZe is trying to get an opening with one of these nades. Obviously, FaZe 8 has cut right in between these two teams so phase clan need to fight for this next ridge over but sonic's already reinforcing on this side this is going to be an absolute bloodbath h win still looking back over towards triple a so tiggleton shrimsy and mime have nothing else to worry about right now yeah uber's still trying to keep track of triple a but again with the player disadvantage you're gonna have a 2v3 essentially AT desperately wants to use this low ground. You can see him trying to find a way around for it. And he might be able to slot in slightly, but you, you can't feel as though he'd trade effectively on that. There's so few options, and that blue's going to shuffle him forward. I'm seeing AAA slowly encroaching as well. It looks like Gems has made it to the foot of the hillside, which is more problems for FaZe more than uh, Sonic's here. H-Wing can stay safe unless AAA suddenly swings south. 
but they're in the open. I'm seeing flashes, not smokes. Maybe they're out of utility too. Uber's going to have an angle on this pretty soon. He's going to have just that ridge line to play with. H wins found one. Now we need to look for the others. Here we go. Uber's in on it. This is AAA going to get absolutely smashed. But Gems, he's found Uber at the top. This is now game time. This is now game on. And there goes Tickleton to get the flush. Okay, we're down to two. A 4v3 phase up against Sonics. And now Sonics, look, they've pushed up. They've backed FaZe to the blue. FaZe have so little room to work with now. Yeah, that's it. The flashes come through. h -Win. looks like he wants to aggress on this, but the rest of Sonic sweeping back down to try and deal with Gustav and Aitzi. This is going to be a fight that's decided by the high ground. Uber now pinned to the back. Shrimsy and Mine both find a knock here. Uber, the last man standing for FaZe Clan as Sonic's close in. Don't doubt uber there's always a chance with this man but it's going to be such a tough battle for him to try and work out so little hp no meds to really work with a couple of bandies and that's it he sees a few he sees another he gets no down way. mime he's doing work but too many players in front but a valiant attempt but sonic's finally stabilizing after a couple of shaky performances they get it going and in some fashion to plenty of fights on the way that's smoke wall Clearing out a freak of freaks, getting past phase, good positioning at the end. They don't make their wins look easy for sure, but when they do it, they do it in style. No, some really, really good moves from Sonic. Again, clearing as they go, they had to fight for that compound again. You know, luckily, it gave given the opportunity to third party, the fight between was it uh, K7 and Africa Freaks, whoever pulled up on the backside of the long building, but I guess the war of attrition ends up in their favor and they're able to come back down. and again for me that previous circle it looked like clearing pack caps is the right decision right but it just goes to show they go able to reset take a step back get control of the hillside and that ultimately was what got them that win okay north america's waking up we had phase in second place this just honestly this just gets me excited for Erangel now like I know we got to do the like post game and all the fun stuff and all of that but like honestly if we get all these teams coming online this is going to be a sick end to the weekend those next couple of games what well, how many do we have three Erangels coming up after this so as said the better these teams get the more comfortable they look you know the stronger they